Yes, it's December, and yes, this is a Halloween themed video, but it's fine. Think of this video as a Nightmare Before Christmas video because some of the materials I had to gather for this build were in fact a nightmare. With the build of the Farmhouse Villager Trading Hall, which houses both shepherds and farmers that we got on a live stream, a very sleep deprived live stream, um, I have wool to sell these guys from the, the barn over there, but do you see fields out there? No, I have nothing to sell these farmers. But, but that changes today because I would like um, emeralds eventually. So we're adding a giant wheat field in front of the farmhouse and the barn. And to the back here and diagonal, I guess, of the mud shack, we're adding a carrot field and a potato field. But we're not stopping at vegetables. We're also entering the fruit market. Um, is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Hold on. <laughs> Let me look this up. Okay, so I looked it up, and a pumpkin, according to fruitsandveggies.org, consider it a fruit due to the seed-bearing structure of its flowering plants. I also think it can be classified as a squash. Do with that what you will. We will be adding a whole new house over here, which hides the automatic pumpkin and melon farm, complete with all of the fun fall activities, like a pumpkin patch, a haunted maze, and a spooky little, like, haunted house walk minus the house, because... It's outside. As previously mentioned, this build contains a lot of pretty hard stuff to get for me right now, like uh, black terracotta, uh, crimson wood, and cherry wood. Uh, cherry wood is probably the easiest out of those because I simply just don't know where it is right now. And uh, since I don't know where a bad lens is, you could probably see wh wh which way. Uh, there, right there. Uh, we are going to be making our own, our own terracotta, DIY terracotta. Uh, right in front of the mud shack there. And, um, as for the black dye, well... Doing that was some serious flashbacks to my Ocean Monument project on Comfy Craft. We're gonna take these over for when our terracotta is done. Do I have any terracotta that's already done? That's the floor I just broke. Ah some terracotta and seven black terracotta look at me i'm ahead of the game i'm gonna need about 10 stacks of black terracotta so while that is doing its thing i need to keep this area loaded so we're going to work on collecting all of the wood i need a little bit of acacia bamboo some oak a decent amount of spruce and a shit ton of dark oak i'm also gathering melons and pumpkins for the seeds and for extra decoration and this wandering trader showed up, and he had nothing, so I left him. And we're heading to the nether for the nether wood, the crimson wood, and glowstone, and also a lot of nether quartz for observers for the pumpkin and melon auto farm. I had to get so much nether quartz for all the observers. I think I needed two stacks of observers. And then I finally found a crimson forest and almost jumped directly into this lava ravine, because I never look before I jump. Thankfully, I don't die. I was very scared of hoglins for some reason, and I made sure I made sure to grab some of the actual floor so I could grow the trees because I always somehow forget that. And we were back in the overworld, and we are headed. This is a mini map, and we're headed all the way past this place where I found the dripstone because I know there is a cherry grove there. And we're finally in the cherry grove. It's so pretty here. I have to build something in one of these biomes one day. And after grabbing some cherry wood, we are back home and we are growing the crimson trees. I eventually fix how I'm growing those and grow them all in the row like these trees because I realized you could do that with the nether trees. And I had to run over to the second village where I keep my librarians to get um, efficiency to put on my hoe because I was not mi mining all of that warped block of the warp block without an efficiency hoe. Also, this little guy ha had escaped somehow. So I brought him back, and then later I walked out and the camel was gone. And he had somehow broken the lead and walked into the ravine on my uh, right there. So I put him in a dirt box, you can see later, I'm pretty sure. And I had to do so much crafting. I did this little crafting montage, because I, do, I don't usually do them, because I think it's just like, oh, you're crafting. How interesting. But I had to craft 
I don't know why I decided to build the things like it's going to be hard for me to get, but the crimson, it turned out looking good. I'm really proud of this build. And here I am mining the trees in an inefficient manner, but I fix it eventually. Here I am doing something even more inefficient. Uh, I had wheat, I just didn't realize because I forgot where I put it. So I wasted a lot of bone meal, and I even got more bone meal to waste. I am a fool. Look at all that wheat I had. I've gathered most of the materials. I'm missing some, but we'll deal with that later. I'm first going to make the actual melon and pumpkin farm so it can be running in the background while we build the decoration, because that's productive. Unlike the wheat farming I was doing, because I already had wheat, I'm, <laughs> I'm so upset with myself. I wasted so much time. Whatever, it's fine. Let's build a farm. completed the farm. Um, for the decorations for the actual build, I need a lot of um, odd blocks. I've gathered most of them, like I said, but I need candles. I don't have a bee farm yet, so we're gonna... Does a zombie? I can hear it. Hold on, I need to deal with this. Where? Anyways, ignoring that... I need to make bee farm for honeycomb to make candles for decoration. I'm going to make it behind the farmhouse over here uh, because the backyard is very empty and there's nothing there. So I will be back when the bees are in the backyard. I got carried away and I made a whole backyard garden. We have this lilac garden back here. These are lilacs, right? Yes. And we got the beehives. And I think this will let me take the stuff without them getting wet, but I can also just do this, so. We got tomatoes. Use your imagination. These are tomatoes. This is a tomato bin. Closer. We got some potatoes and carrots, and we got, like, big ones, like, uh... I think these happen in sturdy valleys, so I just think they're cute. We got the little bees. God, they're so cute. And they have just a little flower bed. I made sure to put lots of flowers over here so the bees don't, like, try to go find other flowers. Hopefully they will be happy. Okay. Moment of truth. Please don't attack me. Everything seems fine. Can we get a baby bee? Oops. Baby bee? Oh, he's so tiny! You're little. Please don't die in the water. I would be very sad. I am going to wait around here until uh, the bees make more honeycomb. Gosh. I need to terraform back here. Uh, the house is floating right now. Um, but I'll deal with that later. I love building things months after I make them in creative because I'm just like, what the hell was I doing? I don't even remember what, like, if this bit is not centered because, like, I built, like, this build, for how big the farm is, this build is giant. I don't know why I built it so big. I'm just like, it looks weird if it's not, like, it looked just so, like, off. And I was like, it has to be giant. It needs to be super big. It's bigger than the farmhouse. It's massive. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh yeah, I want to upload more frequently and then I just build giant builds I have to gather materials for. When I was building this in creative, I uh, clicked on this and it exploded the entire bottom of this build on my creative testing world. 
it scared me so bad. I don't know why I forgot they exploded. I've watched people use them in speedruns to kill the dragon. <laughs> I wanted to listen to Christmas music, but a lot of it is copywritten because it's sung by like celebrities. So we're listening to streamers sing Christmas music. So as of right now, the inside is empty because in this back room, back here, I will just quickly hop over there. This one over here, the ceiling is going to be using skulk uh, the, up there. The ceiling is going to be using skulk to like simulate like a magical night sky. Also, the hole in the roof is because I need red nether brick, but I need to find nether wart in the nether at some point so we're going to do both of those things now we're gonna go get deep dark stuff first i'm not exactly sure where a deep dark is but i know there's a big mountain over here that has like snow on it so i think it might be one where like deep dark spawns this is oh yep <laughs> there's some skulk now that everything's put away uh we have to go to the nether and um hopefully there is another wart in that fortress if not that sucks we also need to find a soul sand valley this is the last way to go and i think of the dead end this is the worst fortress ever at least it has a boy spawner i guess is the only silver lining like uh, it sucks Another fortress. That was quick. Nether wart. Yes. A double nether wart room after not having any? They're saying sorry. They're like, sorry we screwed you over for that long. Here is two. I was going to ask why this basalt delta is so big, but then I remembered I'm the one who set the world to large biomes, so. Uh oh. This is why we play with keep inventory on. Ooh, netherite upgrade thing. Oh, I'm crying obsidian. Oh, bad. Bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. Everything bad. Everything bad. Okay. They can hit taller than I assumed. Woo! Uh, 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 uh. I keep blocking myself. Okay. Soul Sand Valley now, please. I would like to leave this biome. Oh, for the love of God, it's just the cell delta. I've already been here. How? How? Did I do a circle? I will look at chunk base. I do not care. Okay. If I make this number negative, I should just be good. <gasps> Soul sand. No. 
You cannot ruin this for me. I've come too far. I feel like this is an unfair advantage here. Brother. You're in the lava. Oh, there we go. Oh, one, one on the way out. I'll give it a him. Okay, I am back from whatever I was doing. It's been a day. My voice is a bit rough, but we are going to ignore that. I have everything I need for the interior, but I feel like there's been um, a billion time lapses in this video, and there's already going to be one for when we do outside. I'm going to do the thing where you do one of these. So this is the interior. I think it's very cute. I really like the uh, terracotta and cherry wood floor. Very pink in this room because of the white terracotta has a sort of pinkness so I did a white ceiling to kind of brighten it up in here because it was it was pretty dark the magical research room you can see what the skulk was used for up there and upstairs isn't very decorated as you can see it's just kind of bulk storage and I'm gonna go into fly cam because it's on the roof and this is what I needed another wart for besides um this stuff here for the chimney and then you can see it's the XP colors and the windows if you can see that effect it's an eye and it follows you I think that's really cool I like the color palette of this build it is still floating um, <laughs> that will be fixed later because right now we're focusing out here let me go back to my body yeah we're focusing out here uh, right now, it just looks like it plopped down on the land without a second thought. But we're going to do some fun terraforming stuff. And we've been here before. We all know how this ends. There we are. Hello. Like nothing even happened. Okay, so yeah, so the pumpkin patch. There's going to be some fun fall activities. But um, before that... Back in October, when this was originally started filming, I'm really good at time management, um, I went to a really, really cute pumpkin patch and I recorded some stuff and I kind of, I kind of want to include it in this video because, um, I think it's, because I think it's pretty cute. Uh, there were guys in the forest and they were singing and it was really nice. So I'm going to include that while I work on the yard. enjoyed that um it was fun to edit um so this is the yard you can enter from the of course the front door but also over here so we got i had extra pumpkins so i just slammed around i'm ignoring 
the cave that's under here, I will deal with it later. We got the pumpkin carving tables, a uh, old dead stump, the pumpkin patch with where you buy pumpkins, some banners, spooky campfire, and I did banner art. These and uh, those are just offline. It's a little witch's cauldron. And then here's the the corn maze. We're using our imaginations because Mi Minecraft does not have corn. There's little signs in it if you go the wrong way. And then we have a scarecrow with a straw hat. And over here we have like a haunted like walk because I didn't want to make another house. So we got the spooky spiders and dead tree and the gravestones and ghosts. You can tell I made these up myself. That they kind of this looks dumb. This looks like a cat. He's kind of funny. Also, there's a jump scare. I made a jump scare. And then this is for when you're eventually there's gonna be, eventually there's gonna be a path there. So when you're walking, this is here. So this doesn't set off. That's also why that's there. So it only sets off when you're walking right in front of it. That's also why there's bullet here. You got floating eyeballs. We got pumpkin that's doing the little uh, three face. And then this will have like treats in it eventually. But for this build, that's done. But I'm I bit off a little a little more than I could chew um, with this episode here. But I need to fill in these fields with potato, carrot, and wheat. Right now it looks very sad. So I'm gonna do that in chat a little bit because uh, it's almost the end of the year, which is strange to think about, 2024. That's not a real year. What? That doesn't, that doesn't sound real. Yeah, 2024 is soon, which is weird to say. Um, this is not gonna be my last video for this year. I have one more coming out on Friday if you're watching this when it was uploaded on Wednesday. I'm saying these dates out loud so I can hold myself to them. Um, because I swear I'm getting this episode out on Wednesday. So if you're watching it and it's Wednesday, uh, I did it. Yippee. Yeah, my the video that's going to come out on Friday is uh, the 500 subscriber special, which uh, I'm going to go into more detail of like thanking people and just a general thanks there, but I I'm going to say it now as well. Thank you so much <laughs> for 500 subscribers. That's a wild number to me. That's so many people who have decided that they like my, my silly, silly little videos enough to hit the subscribe button. It's very cool. I enjoy doing them and I'm glad you guys enjoy watching them. I've got uh, big plans for this YouTube channel and uh, this survival world. I really, I really want this world to last for a while. And with the plans I have, it's gonna last for, for a while. Um, I know I originally started this world as like, oh, I'll draw and add it to every episode. But then I realized I was forcing myself to do what was essentially my homework from uh, my art class and that was demotivating. So I'm not gonna do that, but I'll include little doodles here and then, like uh, one of my episodes, I think it was the last one, I had my little, uh, my little skin do like a explanation when I live streamed. And this one I had that pumpkin face to censor people's faces because Posting people's faces online is weird, but I still want to focus on improving my building because um, you may not know this about me, but I really like Minecraft. I know that may come as a shocker for some of you, um, <laughs> but this is my favorite game and I love world building and stuff. So me and my currently 14 page lore document are, uh, are friends and it's going to expand and I'm very excited for this world. I want one of those like Minecraft worlds that are like 10 years old um because it's just like like this is stuff like imagine coming back here 10 years later and seeing stuff I, I built when I was 20. Oh my god in 10 years I'll be 30. No what I don't want to think about that part um oh ew concept of time passing gross anywho but yeah, this world is is really I really like it. I, it's gonna be great. I I have videos planned for all of twenty twenty four, like what I want to get done for this world. I will be back when this is done. So in three weeks.
thank you for watching. I hope you liked the build today because uh, it is watching me and it can uh, see if you like it or not. So please, please like the build. I don't know what it will do if you don't like it. We also planted all those fields today. So I finally have stuff to sell to the villagers along with the melon and pumpkin farm that is tucked into this build here. That will be all from me today. Once again, I hope you enjoyed. And if you liked the video, you can like it. And if you want to, you can subscribe.